Good morning, good morning. I want to show all you some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful children. Good morning. I have morning. I have golden clips. You have golden clips? Mm -hmm. So tell me why you dress up so nice. Because it's party school. It's party school? Yes. Yeah, dress up Fridays? Yep. So what happens by Miss Vidya, they have dress up Fridays. It's a day where the kids are allowed to express themselves and just feel nice and relaxed and casual. And you have PE today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you just do for PE and thing? We just basically play with skipping ropes, catch, basically let's do anything we want to if Miss feeling like to do that. Mm -hmm. Or we could, we could use hula hoops. Hula hoops? Yeah. I <laughs> have to use the hula hoop now. Chicky <laughs> chicky And this one has been doing the macarena since yesterday. Possibly I must have watched the macarena about a hundred times. It's going to be a lovely day. And you know, we're just taking it easy, easy, easy. And I have purple glasses. Yes, I see the glasses. You're looking real swanky. Papa, yo. All right. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let me go. Let me tell them what's all you're going to see today. Dal and rice. Dal and rice? And chicken yeah. on the side. Right, so dal and rice and curry chicken. Anything else? No, we are all inside of them. All right. Well, that side of the cucumber too. Side of the cucumber. Cucumber. Wait. All right. Dal and rice and curry chicken. Okay, Suri always, always, always wanted us to stop and take the flowers. This particular tree, it's a favorite tree along the Cora Royal Road. Ah, huh? yeah, nice and where you call, what kind of pink is that? A fuchsia pink? Yeah. All right. When I'm coming back, I'll see if I can pick a flower and show you all up close. So you want dal and rice and curry chicken too? Yes. You love that? Yes. All right then. Well, let's go. Yay. Me a hand. See you later, baby. Bye. Bye. All right. So let's go find a chicken to curry. I think I'll go check Mohammed's. They have everything halal there. I can't. I don't have dal. Imagine that. that Ellis don't have dal. And, and it's a good thing I remember because I might have gone home searching through the cupboards for dal and stuff. Dal don't last in my house. And I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact that I don't have any dal inside there. Hmm. Alright, so. Pause. So I went and I get my doll, I get my doll and one or two other little things in the grocery there. But I came outside and right outside Massey's stores here in Makoya, there's a gentleman but he's he's a handsome guy but he kind of shy and he don't want his face on YouTube and that's okay. But he has some things here that I really want to get and I'm going and give him a sale. Everything looking so nice and fresh and crips. So let me flip the camera and show you. I tell you the man has Zabu can thing, nice avocados. What kind of variety is this? Well, those are Pollock actually. Pollock, right? right? So you're saying this is Pollock. When you see an avocado oh, like, like this, it's Pollock avocados and some nice bananas. And listen to me. You see this? This going and go good with my menu. I going and curry that. I'm sure you all would have heard about curry corn. And we have to get a little dessert, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll buy a pineapple, nice and unblemished, nice and unblemished. And you know, I like to support my people when they're working, making an honest dollar. This is good. This is <laughs> excellent. And he have plants and lemons too, you know, let me show you. Man, he lime and thing, he lime it outside here. And here are your little plants on thing. So if 
if ever you all in um, Makoya by Massey Stores, look out for this little setup and stuff and give me boy a little support, give him a little sale, you know, everybody doing something and we have to support each other, right? So, let me go and pay my brethren. So what he was telling me is that when you see it's had a change color like that, it means that it's on its way to ripen. So you say by tomorrow I'll be able to cut into this and eat it. And I can't wait. I think I'll pick up two chickens one time because Sunday's coming up and I know there's going to be curry chicken left over for tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow I can make a little roti for them. I have some provisions so you know I can throw anything together with that curry chicken that's going to... Now I'm assuming that there will be curry chicken remaining but then I remember it is my ducklings who love a curry and remember they requested it so I... So we come by Mohammed's here and we have we brethren and them they did support Ellis food and more as I walk in he say aha uh -huh, you're going to cook something I say yeah so he have my chicken waiting there Cut it up for curry, curry stew Right Yes, Alice. <laughs> Should I have any back? But this man take about 30 seconds to cut up this chicken. How long it take you? 30 seconds? Less than a minute, you know? <laughs> Quick service. Quick <laughs> service. Good morning. morning. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, senora. Buenos dias, Mr. Mohamed. Como estas? Your partner, son, he say, come and say good morning to you. Hi, yeah, yeah. I am telling them every time I come here, I just feel like I just get such a warm welcome. Okay. Yeah, morning. Duck and then now I have to come. Now we come about lunch time. The duck. Duck and layers. Yeah, right. Nice, nice man. Check these fellas now, boy. I like I like how they contain them. I like how they contain them with these plastic pallets and thing, man. And here now, all them fall and them behaving, boy. So many chickens all confined in one area. They they're not dirty. The place is clean, so hygienic. I like the setup, I like the setup. Right. Take care until next time. We yeah, are special tomorrow, right? Uh -huh. Tomorrow is Saturday. It's tomorrow is Saturday. Again, three big chicken, one big duck, three layers, 420. 420? You just had that every Saturday? Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Every week? Every week. Okay, good. So, will you hear that, right? And it's always been so happy. He's saying he had to watch the channel on YouTube later. So, you watch it yet? <laughs> you watch it yet? Thanks very much, eh? Yeah, always feel nice when I come here by these fellas, boy. Adios, senor. How you just say ting tinga un buen dia? Tinga un buen dia. Yeah. <laughs> and I get, I get snacks. I get snacks too, eh? So you see, you're getting chicken and you're getting snacks. Well, thanks very much, eh? Take care, bye bye. Yeah, ma. Tomorrow. So let me show you some of the things that they have available. Right? They have um, poultry, lobster, kingfish, curry, redfish, crow crow. Right? Oh gosh, Mickey, I, 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 Mickey, I ain't betraying you. I ain't said it. I ain't going against her, Mickey. Don't feel like I'm going against her. Right? Well, I think that's it for now. I have everything. And I have some seasoning to blend up home. And uh, the girls and them said to wait until they come home to chunk in the pot. So we'll season it up and have it waiting there for them, right? But heading back out on the road, I have to be driving, so pause. Okay, remember, I wanted to show all you the flower up close. Check it out. We're right under the tree. Right under the tree. Right? I don't know. If I will be able to reach any, just one. Oh, okay. Look 
for them. See? It has, um, the scent is, is similar to a rose. But look how pretty. Look how pretty. Aww. So that yellow thing there, I guess, it's pollen. Yes, pollen. That's what the bees like to, to go and forage on. And what they will do is secrete enzymes uh, onto the pollen so that the pollen would become uh, nice and moist. Afterwards, since the pollen has become so nice and moist and soft, they would, um, they would shape the pollen into a ball right and little little grains right so what they would do they would um they would now take these these little grains these little balls of pollen and then they on their legs on their hind legs they actually have pockets pockets on their legs that they will take the pollen and put it you can look out for these little yellow things when the bees are flying on their hind legs you would see it and you'd be like what are those yellow things and sometimes it's orange depending on the flower that they forage on it could be orange it could be yellow it could be white sometimes it could be like a cream sometimes but yeah you'll see the pollen grains in the little sacks on the hind legs real cool but you didn't know that but some you know every time i cook in something in the house them birds will come close by and they'll start singing i don't know if they're asking for food or if it is that they just you know encouraging me to cook more it's very pleasant so let me show you what's going on i'm going to do the flip thing and give all your idea the doll is bubbling it's still sort of hard let me show you guys right the grains are still more or less um whole as you can see they're now starting to break down to give you that nice jolly texture right they're now starting to break down there good and i have my jasmine rice which by the way is ready to strain i wanted it very very soft um because i wanted to soak up all the curry sauce and the dal and everything okay across here well, we have um, some situations. The curry chicken all curry um, seasoned. I'm gonna show you something about that curry, right? My dashing bush ready to chunk it. And I'm going to season up the corn to curry that. Now let me tell you about this special curry. This is some special curry that I got from Auntie Vidya and Uncle Dinesh. They actually made their own curry blend, right? So I seasoned up. They say it's very potent, so all you need is a little bit. That's why I put a little bit inside the chicken, you know, just to just to stain the, the pieces and for it to kind of coso me, right? And then I when I'm currying, um, when I chunk in the chicken, I will throw some of this in the pot, seasoning up my corn and chunking my corn with this too, right? When I tell all you this thing's smelling good. Well, I smell it for you. Smelling chunky, smelling chatak, matak, surwa, bite finger, smelling everything in this. Everything, boy. Mm. Thank you, Auntie Vidya and Uncle Dinesh, for all your curry blend. I'm gonna put that to use. And that, this little bit, is going to last me a while because I'm telling all you from the time I snipped it open, from the time I opened it there, the whole house started to be filled with this curry smell. You understand? Curry to my rice. Oh, you can remind me to straighten my rice. I did talking, talking, talking. Always be careful in the kitchen, around the stove. Put it out the sink. Put it in a plate. And that's your nice, hot, steamy rice. Oh, yeah. I just know my little baby Suri is going to love some of this with butter. Can't wait for her to get some. Mm. Okay, what's going into the corn? I'm gonna put lots of garlic and onion inside there. Yep. Then we have some chopped fresh green seasoning, lots of shadow benny, some saibe in there, and a little bit of celery goes inside there. Mm -hmm. Salt. Always add less until you need to add more. And 
black pepper. Of course, if you want this to be very spicy, if you want it to have a kick, add as much pepper as you want. Add as much hot pepper, whatever you want to add to it. Just, and we just mix them up there. Mix them up, mix up the pieces. Then we add some of the curry, just a little touch, just a little touch of um, <clears throat> this potent. Wow! Things are to make my coffee already, yes? Yeah, so we just um, added a little bit and you know what, throw a little water in there. When you see it a little too dry like this, throw a little water to help the seasoning um, sort of coat everything else. Just throw like about two tablespoons and you will see, you see, starting to mix better. So now we'll deal with the dashing bush bhaji, the um, kalalu bush, that they call it. They're also called taro leaves, right? Gonna deal with that. Now all you know my famous tal curry pot from, from my mommy, right? Yeah. Ginger, garlic, lot goes into there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I had to get a spoon. So you see what's happening there? Some of the, the aromatics have started to get nice and crips. As we see in Trinidad, crips, crisp up. Mm-hmm. And I, I washed, I cut the leaves up and some of the stems and I washed them. I gave them two preliminary rinses and I have them soak in here. Just to be a little extra cautious, and just put them inside there. Oh yeah. It's going to well down. It's going to be just enough for us here. And maybe a little extra for anybody who wants to drop in. Some salt, add in salt it while it's cooking. It's actually going to help the leaves wilt down, all right? Meanwhile, meanwhile, we're down melting nicely. It's starting to happen real fast. You see what's going on there? I'm going to show you. Remember just a little while ago, the grains were still intact. So look at what is happening. Yeah, man. The down melting. The down melting, darling. Yes, man. Okay. Already the dashing bush has wilted down considerably, so he is just gonna continue to cook there, turn up the heat, give him some fire, and leave him to do his thing there, man. Mm-hmm. Knock your pot for good luck. Oh yeah, and I add in two. Well, this is the second one, but I add in two of the teaspoons of the um ground seasoning with the shadow benny and the sive and stuff. Just for a little added mm, so a little added thing now, you know. A little added fancy up. So sometimes I'd say pause and sometimes I'd say long pause. So I have to put a long pause on the cooking because it's time to go pick up my ducklings. And I'm so looking forward to it. Eh? Looking forward to going and pick up my ducklings. Guess who I pick up? Suri. Suri. And Suri gave me something very nice. She gave me a wonderful present. What What is it called? A Sattarassel. A Sattarassel? Look at what I got. A Sattarassel. Yeah. And check behind it. Oh. A Sattarassel from 1845. You did this? Yeah. That's... And, and I put some little gum behind and I cover it and then she colored the subtle rustle. I'm so proud of you, my darling. Bye. Mwah. All right, let's go for. Yay! 
when I tell all you something, I went out there and that heat was fierce. It was like I was feeling the heat coming up, coming up from, from the ground. So we stopped to get a little refreshment. You realize all of us kind of looking like we cowboy. We like we with a wet chick. Like a wet fall? Yeah. Like a wet fall. Real sweat. So we stopped to get a little cool down. Sadie has pistachio. What flavor you have? Strawberry. Strawberry. And what flavor you have? Chocolate. Chocolate. Right. And what flavor mommy has? Coconut water. I have coconut water. We breezing in this AC at two minutes to catch ourselves and then we headed back up the road. Right? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Trini Boys coconut water. Mm -hmm. That's some good coconut water. Trini Boys coconut water. Um, LP number three, Clark Trace, Plum Road, Manzanilla. Telephone 322-1131. So if all you want some pure coconut water, I endorse this because I only taste in coconut water. Mm -hmm. I grew up drinking pure coconut water straight from the coconut shell because my daddy had dozens and dozens of coconut trees planted so an after school special would be to run straight in the garden and get your coconut freshly picked then he will cut off the little spoon crack open the shell so that you can scoop out your jelly and eat and it was nice yeah and i love them i love them and i know they love each other eh? but sometimes you see especially like when the heat it's so fierce, they started to turn on one another. So that's where, that's where I had to go full mommy mode and try to remind them to talk with hibiscus and love and chocolate and bananas and sprinkles and talk nicely to each other. The badge is finishing up. I just have to let it break down a bit more and add some coconut milk. The dal is, I just leaving it to bubble and just get nice and you know, just get nice and let all the dal grains melt down nicely. Uh, throw in a red pimento inside there. Yeah? You know that that contrasting red against the nice yellow of the dal is going to be so nice. It's going to make it. It's going to pop in your eyes and in your mouth. So we're going and curry the corn. So flip. All right. Throw in some oil inside there, yeah? like about a tablespoon. Tablespoon of oil and then. We have Uncle Deanish and Auntie Vidya Curry. Hmm. I want them to see it. Eh? All you see, my darlings, are using all your curry for the corner. Right, so what you think? That's enough there? Wow, look out how vibrant and yellow this curry is. And instantly, as soon as it hit the pot, that smell boy. So we want them to fry up on low heat. Low heat, right? Boy, I smelling all kinds of things in this. I can't even put my finger on what it is I'm smelling, but it's smelling awesome. Yes, honey? Yep. I'll throw in a little bit of garlic and onion. And coming on to the end, I'll grate in some um, ginger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing making my for it like it's spicy no the curry has been cooking on a low heat for about five minutes so I say we could throw in we, we, the corn pieces and corn pieces yeah mm -hmm. that no wasting eh I'm going on Scrape out all of that. Now, I mean, it's corn pieces, so it'll be kind of awkward to turn. You're gonna have to feel your way around the pot when you're turning. Just, you know, be gentle. Yes, man. Wow, that, that's smelling like duck. That's smelling like duck, when I tell you. And the dal almost ready for chunking. I need a little more water. Let me check the baji. Yep, baji melted down nice. So you know we the, we we will take the back of the spoon like this, 
and we will sort of mash up the bits and pieces of stems just like that so you see these stems there you just take the back of your spoon press it down and everything will just blend in nicely And when you get a good bundle of dashing bush bhaji, sometimes you don't really need to use your spoon to do all of this work, you know. Sometimes when you see you hit the jackpot with the bhaji, man, that thing will just melt down so nice, eh? And this is what is happening here. There's not much work for me to do. Yes, we want this corn to fry up. Fry them up. Fry them up good and proper. Lovely, so the bhaji is nice and melted. Look at that now. You see when it's had a stick? You see when it's had a stick like that? That is when you know your bhaji well cooked. That is how you know your dashing bush well cooked and melted down nice. So for me, I just add a little bit of coconut milk. Just a little thing, just a little thing. You know, because it's not even a big, um, it's not even a big quantity inside there, right? Now just let that cook down for like a two minutes again. And that is with bhaji right there. You chunk it at chicken, chunk it at dal, and everything. Oh yeah, we'll add some coconut milk to this, um, to this fella here. When the water is nice and dry down, right? Because what's happening is that <clears throat> I added some water uh for the corn to cook properly all the way through and while it's cooking down you see this this is the juice this is the juice this is the corn juice um all the corn flavor is going to be extracted into this we letting it dry down because that's what's going to make the corn gravy right so when this has been reduced and we add the coconut milk to it man you go see action mm -hmm. I have my whole grain jira from a dal, yeah? I have my whole grain jira from a dal. And if I wanted, I had some, um, I had some ground as well, some homemade ground jira that I did some time ago with this boy. You see this? Yeah, I think I'll use this. I think I'll use the remaining of what I did the other day. Well, once all you see this set up, all you know what's gonna take place, right? You're gonna chunk it in dal and I put in a little bit of saffron powder inside there, some turmeric powder, as well as some roasted jeera. Uh, Semi-ground, I, I wanted a little bite to the jeera greens when I am, um, when I eat my dal. And I switch burners, I put the corn on that side there because that's the, um, that's the most powerful burner, right? and he bubbling away he bubbling away reducing nicely and everything on track the only thing to do is to chunk the chicken right don't worry about the stove i'll clean that after when everything cooled down all right get ready for the chunky three two one yes boy. So we're just gonna leave that there to hang out for a few minutes and wipe around the edges of the stove there and let's see how the corn going how the corn going the corn going good it, the corn is cooked so we're just waiting for the um for the sauce let me see you see how nice and thick the sauce is getting yeah now at this point if you want to add one of the crab flavor and you could do that but i forgot to pick up one and that's okay i don't think i have any in my cupboard but it will taste awesome nevertheless so what i will do i will just leave it to kind of dry down a little bit and add the coconut milk yum so the, them fellas was frying down real nice i had to end up throwing a little water in the pot because I run outside quickly and the pot started to dry down so I threw in some water right but they were frying on real nice you see what's that sauce that is the sauce we're looking for that sauce looking boss at this point in time throw in your coconut milk throw in your coconut milk 
and let it continue to cook on a low heat for a few minutes so what I'll do now is I'll switch back the pot from this burner to that burner and we will curry the chicken here right curry chicken now y'all let me tell all yeah you see auntie vids and uncle dinesh curry it real spicy and so it tasty it's one of the most delicious curries that i've ever tasted and i know mama guy in them not because we just pull good me not go mama guy them right i'll tell you the honest the honest truth their curry that 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 homemade blend that they made is spicy and it's rich it's potent it's delicious and it tastes as if it could go well with anything because i use it in curry corn and then i use some to curry chicken however since it's the kids that are currying the chicken for i did not use that in the pot to chunk it right but hopefully i'll be able to get a piece of goat and have my way with that curry and that goat if you know what i mean you understand right so i'm sure they will understand okay so let me flip curry has been cooking on low heat for about five minutes and in goes the remainder of the um ground seasoning and garlic we're scraping out that too eh and onions yes Ooh, boy that is the situation day Mm -hmm. So, I'll give this guy two more minutes frying up like this and then I'll throw in the chicken and my corn to love that heat. Yes, this is what I want. You see that? You see that? That going on anything. That sauce going on dal and rice, which is what we'll be having later on. It's going to go, it will go with roti the roti is going to soak up that real nice it could go on provision it could go on dumpling man you could put this on cricks right you could put it in a in a saucer and eat it with a spoon just so as is let me tell all you this thing tastes in boss that sauce there is boss boss of a sauce time for chicken my bird this is my bird my bird has been seasoned up a good couple hours taking some good seasoning train them in uh-huh yes so we'll turn them just now eh we'll turn them just now and i put together a little something just with the flowers from outside in the meantime you know a little ginger lily, some lantanas, hibiscus, and remember that flower that I picked earlier? Yep. It's inside there too. Alright, so my curry chicken, my churn curry chicken finished cook. I put in the coconut milk and I leave it with just a little bit of sauce because you know there's baji and um dal and thing, but and cucumber, yes, yeah, so you say cucumber. Nice sauce there. And uh, avocado. Avocado? Avocado from Mexico? Yeah. And what? Avocado from Mexico? avocado from Mexico, Mexico. <laughs> so I finished cook my meal and it is looking so delicious hug up your mommy hug up your mommy hug up your mommy oh gosh she gets in heavy boy that's because she eating out all she lunch you know yeah <laughs> right so let me flip and show all you what's the situation Check out the situation. <laughs> oh 
Okay, which which side to start from? Boy, I really don't know which side to start from. So let us start from here, right? So we have we dashing bush baji, wheaten. We have we rice or jasmine rice. I boiled it um, very very soft. Oh, curry corn, cucumber, dal with the bits and pieces of burnt garlic and the jira floating around and that nice red pimento inside there. Curry chicken. And we have a little red salad situation at the side here. Waiting to go on top of everything. 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 So we freshened up our stuff and we decided we'll make a movie night out of it. You understand? So what the girls selected was the birth of Moses. Um, a cartoon version. We have a little Chromebook there that we hook up to the Bluetooth speaker. Um, this big speaker in the background there. Right? And we just here having a meal watching the, um, the movie. Tastes so nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, I'm going to give you the rotator plate situation. I can't do all of that. I can't cook all of this and not give all your rotate the plate, right? I baked bread yesterday. I took some bread in the background and I bought some cupcakes for the girls. We have some pepper sauce. This is Ellis homemade pepper sauce. First, I'm going to give all your rotate the plate and then I leave an all your. Not because I want to, but because I have other pressing issues. That I'm happy. Too. Be safe. Yes, baby, you'll be happy and you'll be safe and you'll eat out all your dad and right and bad. You understand, know right? Yeah. Let me see the muscles. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's real strong. I don't mess with cheese. Mm, she re she's a real. What's the name of the ship? What's the name of the ship? The Sattel Russell. Huh? The Sattel Russell. The Sattel Russell. <laughs> or Fattel Russell. The Sattel Russell, sweetie. <laughs> the Sattel Russell. It's the Sattel Russell, man. All right. So I used to ask if all you want them to go clockwise or anti-clockwise, but you know at this point it don't even matter. Anti-clockwise. Right. So we'll do some of the anti-clockwise too. So here we have with dal, rice, and you can see the bits of pimento and the chunks of um, burnt garlic inside here that we used to chunk it. Yes, man. And we have a dashing bush, curry chicken. I take the wing. You know, because I feel like I'm flying today. Right? And we all like corn, curry corn, a little crunch, a little cucumber. And that is the situation. And them girls are now having a time. Are they good? Yeah. Them girls are now say, take, mommy, take a little taste now. So here we're going to do, right? We're going to take a little taste of everything. A little curry sauce. A little bit of red salad situation. What all they want to hear? What all they want to hear that I haven't already said about my food? Let me tell you something. Way, that's all I can say. Way. And the curry corn. Curry corn tastes like curry duck. That corn, one. That chicken hitting your mouth all over the place. The dal, the rice, the bhaji, everything. Take a little bit of everything on your spoon, put it in your mouth. Have a party inside your mouth, enjoy. I love all you. Remember, I love all you. And I want to tell all you something. If you have to start over seven times, or 77 times, or 777 times, do it. I love everybody, regardless of what. Sending love, prayers, blessings, kisses, bar, super duper, everything from my home to yours. Love all you tremendously. Bar. But I like how this child eating out your food. She eating out your food. Real good. I'll talk to you later, right? Bye bye. 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 bye.